Good morning. So you just heard the gospel reading today. Uh, you have these magi. I'm, I'm going to explain who they are in the sermon. But how did they know? Uh, how did they know where to find Jesus? How did they know? Okay. They followed the star, right? So the star was kind of like. Oh. Star was kind of like, kind of like this, right? Mm -hmm. What do I have? What do I have there? Google Maps, right? Star was kind of like Google Maps. It showed them exactly where to go. But it wasn't the star that led them to Bethlehem. What was it? It was a scripture, right? They maybe they saw this new star in the sky, but they would not have known why that star was there unless the scriptures told them, hey, there's going to be a new star in the sky and it's a birth announcement that a new king is born. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to want you, I want you to listen for that in the sermon too. There's a special scripture in the Old Testament that Moses wrote that told them this is when uh, this is going to happen or why this is going to happen. The same is true with, with us in our life too, right? We may see some awesome things. We might see a comet streaking across the sky and look at it and go, wow, that is amazing. Or maybe tonight when the sun goes down, you step outside and you look up at all the stars and you go, wow, God put those there just for me. But you don't know who God is or what he's done for you unless you have the scriptures, right? The stars are pretty cool. Google Maps is pretty cool. But the scriptures tell you exactly who God is and what he's done for you in Jesus. So that's what I'm going to talk about in the sermon today. Don't follow the star, but follow the scriptures to Jesus. Think you can listen for that? All right, you can go sit down with your moms and dads and we'll continue with the hymn of the day. <laughs> 